Wait, what? It is 5.51 in the morning and I woke up at 3.50 just to go work out. I usually do that on a regular basis. And if you don't believe me, there is, ah, if I can just show you, there it is right there. I don't know if it's focusing. <gasps> What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did wrong when I booked a trip just recently. I could have earned more points and I'm going to be missing out on a certain number amount of points, but I'm also gonna tell you how I was able to get the most points earnings just by using a couple of strategies and certain credit cards. And so, uh, yeah, for more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the video. I wish I had electricity that could kind of flow out of my fingers. Boom. What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. So, like I said in the beginning, I booked a trip just recently and um, I decided to pay for the trip, um, well, at least a portion of it, just because for the time of the year that I was going was not going to be um, beneficial on my part. I was not gonna be able to get the maximum value out of my points. So I decided to go ahead and make the purchase and you know try to get as many points as I can. So so the trip I just booked was to Mexico. So I booked my trip through Hilton and the reason for that was because um, I was going to get a better price for you know an all-inclusive stay compared to uh, if I tried to pay for a different resort anywhere else. Uh, you know for me I'm all about trying to save uh, as much as I can and maximize my value and points all at the same time. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I do not want you guys to make the same mistake that I did. I'm still relatively new to all of this points and miles, but I'm figuring it out on the go and I'm trying to uh, bring you guys along for my journey as well. So the one thing that I messed up on was basically I was trying to maximize my points in terms of uh, my membership reward points because I do have an account connected to my American Express account with Ebates. And if you're not familiar with Ebates, I'll leave a uh, link in the cards on the video that I made on Ebates right up there. And um, I did not read the terms and conditions of one of the offers that was on there. It was spend $500 or more and get $100 back on a Mexico booking through Hilton. So I'd already booked my trip and basically what happened was I decided to go after and look at the terms and conditions. And what I did was I signed up for a Hilton Honors program a couple of days before so that way I could get some Hilton Honors points as well and get a better rate when I booked my hotel. So uh, the one thing that offer does not include is advanced purchase rate. And on my statement, it says Hilton Resorts advanced purchase. So uh, obviously they're gonna know, I'm not gonna get the $100 back, but I was able to maximize my points either way, no matter what. I spent on my Amex Gold Card thinking I was going to get my $100 statement credit back and so that's not gonna happen. But the one cool thing is, is that I signed up for Ebates to get extra cash back. And once I went onto the Hilton website, Ebates notified me that I could get an extra 2.5% back on my spend. So I did the math. And so that equaled out to be an extra $45 and 65 cents cash back. But the one thing it turns out to be is that since it was through my Ebates American Express combination account, it is going to get transferred into 4,565 membership reward points on top of the one points per dollar that I would get. So I would end up getting a total of 6,391 points on my membership rewards account once I finish my stay uh, at that resort. So I could have earned more and I'll tell you here in a little bit why, but I want to kind of give you guys the basis of what exactly I'm going to earn in terms of Hilton points and American Express points. So if you're a Hilton Honors member and you make a purchase, you know, to go stay at a hotel or resort, 
they give you 10 base points per dollar spent at any of their properties. So since I made a purchase, my points will come out to 18,260 uh, Hilton Honors points just from that stay. So my total earnings in points just from those two things, well those three things, from the American Express card, from Ebates connected with my uh, membership rewards account, and the Hilton Honors account will earn me 24,651 points. Now here's where I messed up. Had I been utilizing all of my cards correctly, I could have used the Chase Inc. Business Preferred card. And the reason why I say that is because this card earns three points on travel purchases, including hotels, including airfare. And that is the one thing that I messed up on. So those points that I earned just from spending on the card, I'm assuming a one point per dollar spent when it could have been three points per dollar. So I could have increased my points value up to an extra two points. And this is where I'm kind of upset because I could have earned Chase Ultimate Rewards points, membership rewards points through my Ebates account, and Hilton Honors points and that kind of upsets me so this is one mistake you know you you learn from your mistakes and you keep moving forward so guys I just want to let you know make sure that whatever credit cards you decide to use and if you're trying to get into this points and miles game make sure that you are smart about it because I could have maximized my uh, points earnings and because of one thing in savings of $100 and I chose not to read the terms and conditions, which is not like me because I normally do. Because of that, I'm missing out on an extra, you know, if you add an extra 2,000 whatever to the 24,6500 points that I got, it would have been around 27,000 points that I could have potentially earned on just one stay. Um, so, I'm pretty upset, but you know, all in all, it was a pretty good kind of strategy that I chose to go. And so again, guys, make sure that you are signed up for Ebates. And if you have a membership rewards account, I highly suggest that you connect your membership rewards account to an Ebates account. Make sure that it is a new account. Uh, otherwise, you will not be able to do it because you cannot merge the accounts if there is an Ebates account already created. So. I just wanted to let you guys know that. I hope this is valuable to you guys and you found it helpful. So please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you guys participate down in the comments. Let me know what your card strategy is uh, whenever you try to book for, you know, any of your travel uh, moving forward or in the past. If you've had any mistakes that you have made when booking, um, let me know. I'm curious. Uh, I would really like to have a conversation with you guys. And so just let me know guys down in the comments below. And that'll conclude today's video guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below. Let me know where you guys are on your credit card journey. Don't forget to hit the bell notifications down in the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, Credit is your life. Peace.